Good morning all. It's the Devious Monkey. It is Monday. It is a bright, shiny, sunny day. 41 degrees and everything is continuing to melt, which is a good thing. All right, I had one call this morning. I have another one in like an hour. So I need to run out and get some stuff. Very confusing day as far as deliveries. The small rig cage delivered. It didn't even show me that it left China. Riddle me that one, Batman. The other thing, the mannequin is out for delivery today. That wasn't supposed to be here until the end of January, the beginning of February. Okay, apparently my gummies are being held at the post office. So I'm gonna give them until, I don't know, like mid this afternoon, just to see if it's gonna be re-delivered or if they literally took it back there and they're getting ready to send it back to Eden's Herbals. So I'm gonna have to figure that out at some point today. Also, all of the wigs show that they attempted delivery, but it doesn't give me any information after that. So I don't know if they're going to attempt to deliver it again today or they're gonna hold them all and send them back. So it's a, it's a hell of a confusing day as far as deliveries go. Gonna go in and get this freaking, we'll see what packages are here. I got the small rig cage and the mannequin. The mannequin box is beat to hell though. It's literally torn open to the point that you can see the mannequin inside. So I'm gonna have to check that over really well and make sure that, that, you know, that she's not damaged. Ah, <sighs> okay, life is an adventure. Now we're gonna go home. We're gonna set this shit up, check it out, make sure that she's okay, and you know, play with the cage. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go home and do that. I have another call in like a half an hour, and then I will deal with the post office. And also, I will go grocery shopping yet again. So yeah, let's get home and do this. Hangry Monkey has now been sated. I had a little bit of a late lunch, and now I'm going out to do all the other shit that I said I was going to do today, in my head anyways, and that I didn't do and that I don't want to do because that includes grocery shopping. I'm also going to North End Bag Company, which is right by Three Ships, to look at their bags because now that I have this full-sized camera set up, and even when I was using the A7C, the purse that I was carrying, while it was big enough to accommodate pretty much everything I wanted to carry, it was not big enough for me to safely stuff the camera on the mantis pod into it if in a situation where i needed to, to you know put the camera somewhere real quick i did not feel safe with it being in there because it wasn't in all the way and i felt like i was going to scratch the shit out of the filter or even the camera screen or whatever so let's go to north end bag company and do some bag shopping all right bag achieved here's the old one and i'll show you better take my word for it it's bigger not only that but they took the time to make me the the little addition there for the shoulder strap so it isn't garroting me when i have carry all the crap that i carry i cannot recommend them enough north end bag company they make the best bags and i can definitely say that i put my money where my mouth is they're expensive, but they're built so well that you just won't even question that. I can honestly say that I, this isn't any kind of paid sponsorship or anything like that, but I definitely love their bags, as does my wife, because we have several. Each of us has several, and we're probably not done either. They come out with new colors, different things all the time, and we love going there. They're really friendly, awesome place. Do yourself a favor, go online. I linked them down below and get yourself a really cool bag that's built well that will probably outlive us all. All right, rock on. Okay, kids, I have been playing around with this for longer than I should have. I have now rearranged all this again from how I had it yesterday or to even five minutes ago. Basically, what's been happening is that because I got that cage in today from small rig that I wasn't expecting for a couple of months, I put everything together and I've been testing out what works best. Now, because I really like using the Mantis pod, when it gets right down to it, it works best with the plate 
that came with it. And that's that little square plate that looks like a peak design plate that I have all over the place on all my devices. And I have Arca Swiss clamps on everything so that I can use the Arca Swiss stuff. Now the problem when you use these things that have like built in Arca Swiss rails and all that kind of shit is that it's usually sideways. And I have everything set up on that square plate so that I can put it in the easiest way that I can, whether it be back and forth or side to side. Everything was set up with back and forth. The way that I had, you know, the, the twist on the side to clamp it down and so on and so forth, both here on any of my tripods or on the monopod in the Forerunner. So because I had it set up that way, I had to move everything around and twist it, you know, that, that 90 degrees, I guess, or whatever, to try to get it to accommodate the fact that I wasn't using the plate. Well, it only took a couple of trips in the Forerunner before I was like, okay, yeah, screw that, that's not gonna work. And I went and put the plate on. The biggest reason though is because on this thing, it works best with the plate that came with it. And when I tried to put it on the Arca rails of the cage, it just didn't feel like it was secure. It felt like it was gonna keep moving and that just freaked me out. I'm not gonna have all this money on a precariously clamped down device. That just isn't gonna work for me. Now, the next thing that I ran into is because I came in here then and I had to move all this shit around to try to accommodate the fact that now I had to you know, spin that 90 degrees for that clamp was that then I had to move the light, I had to unplug everything, I had to move the Ninja, and then I decided to go back to having it the way that it was, but it still wasn't working well the way that all this was set up. So I ended up taking the, the like there's a long handle that is on the fluid head of the Manfrotto tripod. So I took that and instead of having it like go down along the center column, I twisted it up and out. So now it's sticking out this way, right up sort of off to the right or the left, whichever side you're looking at it from, of the camera in the cage. And then I took that GoPro uh, almost gorilla pod like bendy thing that has a clamp on it. And I clamp that onto the handle so that the weight then holds it in place. So now the lamp or the, the LEDs are right above the handle of the camera and it's coming down like right at my face. And that's the way that I wanted it done. Then <laughs> I had the microphone, the microphone, uh, the uh, Movo VXR10. It was on the bottom of the Ninja, back, back all the way clamped to the bottom of the Ninja. I put a cold shoe mount on there. And I noticed yesterday that when I switched from the Rode Wireless Go 2 to this, it sounded weird, muffled, not quite right. It didn't match with what was coming from the Rode Wireless Go 2. And I think that's because in the Rode Wireless Go 2, it's literally like right there underneath my voice box compared to the VXR10, which was back like 12 inches away from my face and down below. And I had to keep looking down at it to get it to, you know, the bottom line is it didn't sound as good. So then I took it and I mounted it to another piece that I have hanging off there and screwed it in so that it was sandwiched between the bottom of the lens and the top of the Ninja. The problem with that then became because the microphone was back behind the Ninja for the most part, it was picking up the fan noise. And it was, it, it was like it was sitting next to a freaking air conditioner when I took it off and I played it on the, on the iMac and I was like, oh my God, no, can't do that. So then I took it and I moved it and took off the dead cat and mounted it back on the top off to the side. It was better, but I was still picking up enough of the fan noise from the Ninja that I was like, nope, can't do it. Now, I mean, we're talking like even if you can't really hear that well, you would have heard the difference between having it sandwiched where it was to having it a little bit forward. Well, now I have another long, uh, I don't know, it's, it's it, it came, well, look at that. It's one of these. It came on this cam caddy that I used to use when I had uh, Panasonic camcorders back in Chicago. So I put one of these and mounted it, screwed it to one of the holes on the bottom of the Ninja so that it juts it forward probably, I don't know, six or seven inches. So now the, the tip of the microphone is halfway between me and the Ninja or, or the camera, which is right above it. And I can't put the dead cat on because then if I did see how it shows up in the, in the frame. So I'm thinking, okay, I don't really need to have it there. But if I stopped talking and I looked at the, at the you know, the audio feeds, 
it, it's almost not moving. Whereas before it was two or three, four even bars above it. And when I had it sandwiched between the lens, it was halfway. That's how much noise that fan was generating into the microphone. So I haven't listened to this, but I think judging by how it was when I moved it back to the top and moved it forward a little bit, now that I have it here, one, it'll probably be clipping because it's so loud because my face is like right there and that I can deal with. But I think that if I just click the noise reduction, which is what I usually do on everything, even on the Rode Wireless Go, I think that that will get rid of any background hum that you might hear from the fan. And that's it. All right, so I've been all over the place today. I've been doing a ton of stuff. I have a lot of work calls as usual. Tomorrow, my entire afternoon is filled with work calls. So I'm not gonna be doing any filming then. I'm gonna have to do something in the morning or after it, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. That's all I've got for you. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Let me know how this sounds. And if you can hear any fan noise or home or any of that, you're probably hearing the damn hard drive over there, which has been whirring like crazy. But other than that, as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.